Thank you, everyone, for taking time to join today's webinar. Uh, today, we're going to go over Starship Cloud uh, with Acumatica, so that cloud integration with uh, the ERP system Acumatica. As Megan just mentioned, uh, my name is Matt St. John, one of the sales executives here, and I do handle the Acumatica interface. Uh, so again, glad everyone can join me. Um, really today, we're going to have, of course, uh, any questions. Um, there, there is a the question pane, so please feel free to uh, uh, type in your questions. I'll address those towards the end of the webinar. Um, we can uh, put up also, of course, put up my contact information. So uh, you know, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm going to try to jump into a quick live demo. If not, again, feel free to reach out. More than happy to you know do a one-on-one -on -one deeper dive demo with you um, you know even do discovery calls uh, just to make sure uh, that starship is a perfect fit for helping to streamline your shipping solution or shipping processes I should say all right so with that being said I'm just going to start out and talk a little bit about the technologies um, as you see we've been developing integrated shipping solutions since 1987 so 33 years now, uh, we are a strategic UPS ready provider as well as a platinum FedEx compatible solution. Uh, so basically what that means, we're a certified solution for both UPS and FedEx. So uh, things like our shipping labels are actually certified uh, between UPS and FedEx. Uh, so we go through the pains of that whole process of generating sh uh, certified shipping labels so you don't have to. Um, other features uh, regarding that, uh, both UPS and FedEx have have, like say subsidy programs where you can actually qualify for free funding and of course uh, with that funding you can use it to purchase Starship um, so again just kind of some of the nice things as being a certified vendor for both UPS and FedEx um, as you see we've been integrated with Acumatica for five years now uh, we actually integrate with a dozen other ERP systems uh, but working with that Acumatica again for about five years and currently have about 10,000 customers that are using our integrated shipping solutions to help streamline that shipping process. Um, our office is actually located in Connecticut. And just so you know, you know our support team, for example, they are in-house. Uh, we really don't outsource anything. So our sales, development, Q&A uh, team, uh, they are all in-house. Um, so if we ever had, you know, needed support, uh, you call the guys in the office, great team of guys. Uh, you know, not only do they understand Starship, uh, but they also understand the ERP systems as well. All right, so a couple of the uh, key points here, maybe you didn't know about Starship, and of course, as we're gonna discuss today with cloud, uh, but Starship's integration with Acumatica, it's literally plug and play. Uh, you know, we're simply data mapping the fields from Acumatica, even on right back. Um, so there's really no need, you know, if, for example, if you wanted us to bring in maybe a special Acumatica field, um, even an attribute field, we don't have to get in there and reprogram everything. Again, it, it's very basic, not even basic, you know, very simple. Um, I, data mapping, so really we don't need to get a programmer involved to make changes to the software. Um, it's going to help simplify your small package as well as LTL shipments. So Starship is multi-carrier, multi-mode. So you are going to be able to process um, LTL shipments as well as small package, international. Um, we're, we do have integrations with over two dozen uh, carriers. And, and so, of course, with those integrations, it's going to allow you to do live rate shopping um, on the rate shopping uh, that is just pinging the carrier. So we're going to return your live contract rates. We also return published list rates for, say, like small parcel like UPS and FedEx. Um, so depending on you know what you base your shipping off of, you can do it off of published list rates or even um, your live negotiated contract rates. All right. And with that integration to the carriers, you know, Starship, of course, is automatically going to return like tracking numbers. A lot of the LTL carriers, it's going to return the pro numbers. Uh, it's going to ping the carriers, you know, let them know, hey, they have a shipment ready to go. And I know a lot of people with small parcel, you probably already had daily pickup. But again, with some of those LTL carriers, um, it's also automatically going to do that. So the nice thing is you no longer have to call the carrier, schedule the pickup, you know, tell them it's ready to go. You know, Starship is going to take care of all that for you. Um, 
Inside Starship, we can define item to box detail. Uh, so right at the time of shipment. Now, of course, if you're using Acumatica's warehouse management solution, a uh, nice thing, you know, use a handheld, you can actually build the shipment, do the item box detail. Um, so if we're using a WMS or even inside Acumatica on that shipment record, if you are building the item box detail, inside of Acumatica, uh, regardless, Starship is gonna bring it in that way. So, you know, we can, again, use the WMS, define our shipment, bring that shipment into Starship, all the items are gonna already be packaged for the shipper, uh, or we can manually do that inside of uh, Acumatica, and Starship will still bring it in. Now, most of our clients that they, maybe not using a WMS, um, they actually build the item to box detail right inside of Starship. Uh, some find it, it is easier, uh, like I said, more than happy. If I can't get to the demo today, I, we can have set up a call and go over that. But uh, with Starship, it's very simple. I mean, click a button to add a box, add a pallet. It's drag and drop items around, so it makes it very easy. And then, of course, with that item to box detail, you know, we're going to be able to get that on uh, documents such as packing lists, as you fill a lading Starship can generate for your LTL shipments. Um, of course, your standard shipping labels, as I mentioned, those certified labels for the parcel carrier. Um, now, a lot of people think, oh, yeah, Starship, it's for shipping. It's really for my warehouse team. But we also help out in the front office. Um, so included with Starship is the ability to actually do rate quoting, that live rate quoting that maybe the shipper would do from inside of Starship. Uh, you could do that right from sales order entry. So we actually add a little Starship button in that module. And that way, front office, you know, maybe a customer service rep, they're in there and they're creating an order, maybe they're doing a quote, um, and then the customer asks, you know, how much is it gonna cost for shipment? Uh, so they can click that Starship button. Uh, nice thing with that, uh, it does not require any additional user seats or, or licenses for Starship. So again, anyone you want to have access to it can get in there, and they're gonna be able to, one, they can build the shipping details, just like I mentioned inside of the regular Starship screen, a, a shipper might do. Uh, a front office person, customer service rep, they can do that, right? When they're placing, the, taking down the order information, um, they can then do that live rate shopping. All right, so that's gonna be right from sales or entry. Uh, they can even do address validation ahead of time. But nice thing with doing it at the time of order, of course now, everything is selected. We, you know, if we're validating the address, that's already gonna be validated. Uh, we selected the correct carrier service, so uh, that, that's already taken care of. That way, when the shipper goes to process it, you know, they don't even have to worry about doing that. Um, and even in Starship, when we go to process a shipment, uh, with the rate shopping, we can do rules like switch rules or even best way where we can tell Starship, hey, I want you to automatically select the least expensive carrier service, for example. Um, so, you know, you could even take that, hey, make sure the shipper always selects the, the least expensive carrier. You know, Starship can do that for them. Uh, again, with switch rules, we can do things like uh, having Starship look at maybe uh, Acumatica field or a Starship field. And maybe in a scenario where I do have a customer that sells chocolate and hey, they monitor weather. So anytime the weather is above 70 degrees, they actually have a checkbox in their ERP system. And Starship looks at that. And if it's selected, it knows to automatically, regardless of you know how the order came in via the, like the ship via. So hey, maybe it was supposed to go FedEx or UPS ground, it's automatically going to switch it to second day service. Uh, that way the chocolate won't melt. So again, things like that we can automate and you know, really here to help streamline and automate the whole shipping process uh, for your shippers. So of course, the less things they have to click, touch, type, of course, the better. Um, so on-prem or in the cloud, so again, we're here to talk about the, uh, the cloud version, but of course, Starship uh, has our original on-prem version. Now, some of the difference, of course, we'll get into that, but in, you do have the option now. If you want to move forward with Starship, you can have an on-prem version, or if you kind of want it to be hosted by someone else and you don't have to worry about maintaining it, um, you want to get into you know, subscription-based pricing or SaaS-based pricing, uh, then definitely the cloud is something you want to look at. Um, even the on-prem, though, I, I do have some customers that, oh, I want to switch to the cloud because um, I want my uh, information hosted or my service hosted. Uh, just know that on-prem also supports, uh, supports hosted servers as well. Okay. 
And then advanced functionality, uh, you know, we can get into automating half-man shipments, international, integration, EDI. Uh, so with Starship, you know, not only is it looking at Acumatica's database to automatically bring in information. So again, recipient information, we look at the ship via to automatically select the carrier, the service, uh, anyone that's doing third party or bill collect type shipments. You know, Starship could even be set up where all that information automatically populates for the shipper. Uh, but we also help international. Um, so we have our own database where we can set up and store all the required international data. So country and manufacturer, we have a lookup for the harmonized or Schedule B codes. Uh, again, with the hazmat, uh, we fully support hazmat shipments. We can generate all the, the required documents. Um, and that's something else that can be streamlined where, you know, as a shipper, I don't have to worry about marking, oh yeah, this item's hazmat and it's under a profile of paint, for example. Um, so all the correct codes are used. Again, that, stuff like that, you know, shipping options, it, it's here, you know, Starship's designed to actually automate that and help streamline that process. And I kind of can't say that enough, but um, let me just jump to the next slide. So now Starship Cloud. So as I just mentioned, uh, kind of the differences with Starship Cloud is, you know, we're gonna host it. Um, we do offer monthly SaaS plans. Uh, so our SaaS plans are gonna be based off of the number of parcel shipments uh, that you, or I should say packages that you process per month. And then if you are doing LTL, it, it's gonna be the number of LTL shipments. So just a shipment can contain, of course, say 20 boxes, uh, but that would still just be one shipment. Um, so just comes down to um, carriers, locations, uh, number of users, and the main thing there is just your volume, your shipping volume. And like I said, please feel free to reach out to me. We can discuss all the different tiers that we have. I can send you over further information. Now, another nice thing with cloud is when you move forward with cloud, you're gonna gain access to all the carriers. And I should say, originally, if we're gonna go with a parcel plan, you're gonna gain access to all the parcel carriers that Starship integrates with. Uh, if you want to go with a parcel and LTL plan, of course, you'll gain access to all the parcel carriers and all the LTL carriers that Starship integrates with. Okay. Also, uh, added kind of added bonus, you're gonna get access to all our e-commerce integrations. I have a slide in a little bit that kind of reviews some of those, but you know, I'll talk to the, talk about those when we get on that slide. But just know, you know, as you see with cloud, it, it's not kind of all like a la carte like we do with the on-prem ver version. You're gonna get that SaaS base. Uh, you can also prepay for a year and, and receive a discount. Um, but that's based pricing. You're going to have access to all the parcel and or, you know, LTL carriers if you'd like. All our e-commerce integrations. And the other nice thing is uh, you could literally go up out and go on our website after this web webinar and sign up for a free 30-day trial to test it out. All right. So here's just kind of some of those differences between Starship, uh, the on-prem versus the cloud. Um, so as I mentioned, with on-prem, your licensing is gonna be perpetual, so it's you know one-time fee for the software, and then there's recurring annual maintenance that you would have to pay each year. Cloud, SaaS base. Carrier integrations, on-prem, like I mentioned, a la carte, we kind of call them modules, you buy each individual module. Um, so if I needed UPS, FedEx, maybe uh, you know XPO as an LTL carrier, you would have to purchase each of those carriers uh, to receive that integration. Again, cloud, it's all going to be included. Uh, same thing with those e-commerce connections. You, with cloud, you're going to receive them all. The on-prem, you do have to buy them individually. Um, cloud also has that 30-day trial. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, EDI integration. Uh, so really what Starship can do is uh, send all that required shipping information to your EDI solution. So pro, pro numbers, tracking numbers, and then, of course, an EDI solution can use that to automatically generate ASMs. Um, as you see underneath, uh, on-prem does support custom documents. And by a document or custom document, I just want to mention that things like packing lists, um, you know, bill lading forms, international documents. Uh, so on-prem, out of the box, you can, there's an, actually a template designer that you can get into and customize your documents. You can actually create unlimited templates. Um, and even on each template, you can assign printing rules, so you can tell Starship when to print those documents. Uh, but with cloud, uh, it, it is XL, kind of technically, <laughs> we do support custom documents. It's just right now, we don't have 
that template designer for you to add, gain access. So we would actually have to design the documents for you and then upload them. Um, so it's just kind of one of those things you just can't do on your own. Um, and then as you see with free upgrades, uh, cloud, of course, you're going to gain access, you know, immediately roll out the new versions of Starship. They're going to be updated. Um, with on-prem, I, I know it's X out. Technically, you still receive the upgrades as long as you're current with your annual maintenance. Um, it's just we're saying it, it's not technically fully free because if you need us to actually do the update um, for your on-prem version, there is a fee associated with that. But again, with cloud, hey, you can set that up. You don't even have to worry about it. We'll take care of everything for you. You're going to have access to all those carriers, e-commerce. Um, and uh, if you wanted to, pay by month or you can prepay for the year and receive a discount on that uh, monthly rate. Uh, also, this slide here, just wanted to bring up Starship versus Shipgear. Uh, so if anyone out there is aware, uh, Starship, or V-Technologies, I should say, uh, we also have a middleware called Shipgear. And Shipgear would connect you to UPS, World Ship, or FedEx Ship Manager. So you would still have to use the carrier's um, shipping software. Now, uh, unfortunately, Shipgear doesn't have an integration with Acumatica, but uh, we do have a lot of um, customers, you know, current cust Shipgear customers that we sent this invite out to that, um, you know, they're switching ERP systems. Um, so there, a lot of customers are looking at Acumatica. So we just wanted to put this slide in here, uh, just in case anyone has any questions about Shipgear compared to Starship. And again, as you can see, Shipgear, you're going to have to use the carrier's uh, shipping software, where with Starship, you can actually um, multi-carrier, multi-mode. So it's through one user interface, you're going to gain access to the carriers, the LTL shipments, you know, all that goes right through Starship. You don't have to jump in back and forth between two different uh, shipping softwares. Uh, Starship going to bring in line item integration really with Shipgear. It's just all the header information. So here's the recipient. Um, of course, Shipgear doesn't offer rate shopping, um, any of the warehouse management uh, solutions or EDI integrations, uh, no batch processing, no e-commerce integrations, or even with our USPS uh, module for Starship, uh, you uh, get your offer discount rates uh, with Shipgear. Unfortunately, we don't integrate with USPS. Um, so again, just want to throw that in there if anyone had any uh, questions on the differences between Starship and Shipgear. All right. Okay. So here's just a slide of some of the carriers that we do have integrations with. Uh, so of course these are Parcel and LTL. So from USPS to you know YRC right away, um, even 3PL carriers like uh, uh, the, yeah if I can talk to you, Worldwide Express, Sage Robinson, um, Freight View, Freight Quote. Uh, so again, going to offer you that direct integration to those carriers. Um, and nice thing with the LTL, again, you don't have to call them or, hey, yeah, we have five different LTL carriers. Now let's go on their website, each individual website, and find out, you know, who's going to be the less expensive or, um, you know, who might be the, the fastest to get, get the shipment there. Um, all, all that can be done right through Starship or, again, even through the uh, rate shop from sales order entry. So, so again, those are just some of the integrations with the carriers. And then here are some of those e-commerce integrations. So with e-commerce, uh, we can actually work the e-commerce integrations two different ways. Uh, we can do a direct integration, and I'll just use Shopify as an example. But with Shopify, and if I was doing a direct integration, right from Starship, I would actually pull the order from Shopify. So it would go right from Shopify into Starship. I do my process, shipment process, I click ship and process inside Starship, it's going to generate my shipping documents. And of course, it's going to send the shipping information back to Shopify, uh, you know, even complete the order. Um, now, that workflow, it, it is going to bypass your ERP system. So if you're doing that with Acumatica, you know, you wouldn't have that information in Acumatica. Now, most clients, we're using Acumatica. We probably want to get our orders to go from Shopify into Acumatica. Um, and then, of course, create sales orders and then the shipment records uh, right inside Acumatica. So with the e-commerce integrations, we can also do them as an extension. And when it's an extension, we would actually pull the Shopify order from Acumatica. So it'd, it'd be like we're, sh we're shipping any other you know, plain old order. Starship's going to bring in all the shipment information, 
you know, populate the, the carrier, the service, the recipient information. I can then, you know, live rate shop, ship and process, have Starship generate all my required shipping documents. And then with the e-commerce integration as an extension, Starship is going to take that shipment information, of course, pack, pass it back into shop of, uh, into Acumatica, but it will also pass it up to, again, in this case, Shopify. So you can kind of have it hit both places. Um, so some nice integrations there if anyone needs. Uh, and as I mentioned, you know, I'll put up my contact information. Uh, so if anyone uh, wants to reach out to me, definitely can do that. And let's see, I'm just going to move this next slide. Of course, it's going to say demo. Let's see if we have any questions. I don't see any questions. So let me, um, let's see, we have a couple minutes here. I'll X out of here and I'll just quickly just bring in an order. I'll, I'll ship it real quick just so you can see how Starship works. And of course, feel free to reach out. We can get into a deeper dive. Uh, so here on my screen is the Starship program. So um, this is the look and feel of you know, cloud or even on-prem. From here as a shipper, uh, we can pull by sales order or shipment records even by customer. Uh, if you do pull by sales order, just know on right back, Starship will automatically create the shipment record inside of Acumatica. Uh, but honestly, most clients, it, it is by the shipment number. Um, so over here is our source document. This is where we can manually type in that shipment number. Uh, if you happen to have it barcoded, we can actually even uh, just use a regular web type plug and play barcode scanner and scan in that number and then have Starship load it. Or down below, as you see, I can manually look up all my shipments. Regardless, this is a live inter interface or integration to Acumatica. So as the front office is adding um, sales orders or creating shipments, Starship's automatically going to be picking those up. Okay, so real quick, I'll just uh, click create shipment here. Like I said, we'll kind of try to do this uh, live. Make sure I'm not logged out. There we go. Um, so live connection, uh, Starship, and let me just go under shipments here, make sure I'm not logged out of Acumatica. There we go. Okay. Uh, um, so again, live connection, data mapping all the fields. So here's my company information. Starship does support multiple branches, warehouses, companies, locations, so on and so forth. Uh, sender information. Starship also fully supports blind or drop shipment. So, hey, maybe I'm shipping for Tractor Supply Company. I need to show everything's coming from them. I could have it set up, uh, even have this automated where, again, Starship, this address ID field, is actually just looking at an Acumatica field to automatically select that. But nice thing out of the box, Starship does fully support uh, blind or drop shipments where we need to show the sender uh, is coming from someone else. And then recipient, of course, that's our uh, ship to information and transportation is uh, just mapped in from the ship via code. So automatically selecting the carrier service, as I mentioned, shipment details are all my shipment options. And we could have these flagged, you know, inside Acumatica, if I had insurance checked, of course, it would be checked inside of Starship as well. Um, but down here in the packaging, this is where I can actually build my item to box detail. Uh, so this here, this laptop, there's a packaging scenario. So Starship's automatically packaged it for me. Uh, we can set up one item um, to go into uh, the same type of box. Uh, again, it is just one item. We can't do multiple items and tell Starship, hey, these three items always fit in a large box, for example. Um, but just if you ever have any items, uh, you know, maybe case packs. A great example is you ship things in case packs. Uh, because with these packaging scenarios, you can even set quantity breaks. Uh, and tell it, yeah, only 12, you know, maybe only 12 laptops fit in a laptop box. And then, of course, Starship would do, uh, say, two laptop boxes if the order or shipment was for, say, 24 of them. All right. So get into things like that. Um, from here, if I need to add additional boxes, I could click this little icon. Uh, if it's a large order, these icons here on each of the packaging is actually a repeat box function. So I can tell Starship, hey, I need 10 boxes. If they all weigh the same, you can even copy the original weight. I'll just cancel that and we'll get rid of this box so we don't get a bunch of uh, labels printing. And then I simply can drag and drop if I want to put item to box detail. You know, maybe the laptop and the, the motherboard all fit in that laptop box. And then the heart rate monitor just maybe goes into a, a small box. So this drop down, that's just Starship's database where you can store uh, standard size boxes, bags, bales, pallets, what have you. And then over here, we can grab weights from a scale. Uh, my system, I'm pulling it directly from Acumatica. I can manually type it in if I needed to. 
Um, and then next door, just, just so you know, Starship will do um, dimensional calculation based off of the carrier. So we fully support that. And in this case here, Starship will rate shop this. And then when I process it, it's going to go to the carrier at the correct dimensional weight. Okay, so you don't have to worry about getting that bill later on from the carrier about dimensional, um, you know, taking over over the actual physical weight. Um, line item detail, shippers usually don't have to click on this. This is just, you know, so you know, Starship does have a database where it will start storing your inventory items. Again, so we could, you know, maybe use Starship's database for like, say, in, uh, international shipments where it could automatically populate all that required information and then, of course, generate all the required um, shipping documents. And we do fully support the new USMCA forms uh, for the certificate of origins. Uh, in the past, it was the NAFTA form, but now that's changed. So if everyone needs to know, Starship does fully support all the new documents. And down below here is the rate shopping. So this is where I can actually see my live contract rates, published list rates. And here in this case, maybe I'm going to leave it at UPS. When I'm ready, I just simply click ship and process. And in your live environment, of course, Starship would automatically just start printing out your documents. Uh, I actually PDF everything so you can see them, which of course takes a moment to actually pop all those. So, okay. And then here, uh, this is our smart label. I also use this for demos just so you can see a shipping label and a packing list. Um, but this is just an option. Of course, we can send shipping labels to a thermal printer, laser printers, uh, packing list. If you want Starship, that could go to a thermal, link, uh, thermal printer as well, a laser printer, save it as a PDF. And then here, as I mentioned, documents can be customized with printing rules. So I have a rule on this one that says, hey, use this special packing list because it's for tractor supply. So it has their logo on it, their company information. So get our documents for both those boxes. I'll just close these. Live environment, I click ship and process. Starship's going to take me right back to the main screen where I can select my next shipment or sales order customer and go through that again. And then on right back real quick, I'll refresh this. As you see, we mark the order confirmed. There's confirmed. Shipping settings, there's our freight cost and freight price. So what it's gonna cost me, so your live negotiator rate from the carrier, and then what you're charging the customer. And then on the packaging tab, reverse translating the box ID. As long as the boxes are set up inside of Acumatica, Starship will reverse ID those. And then of course down below is what I put in each of the boxes. Here's my tracking information. Reference one and two, up to you what you send back here. I'm actually doing, I think, dimensional weight and then the um, ETA from the carrier. So the delivery date and time. And then over here on the notes, if you'd like, we can even send back information and create a note. Uh, same thing, that's up to you. So I just have an example of the date, the time, you know, the pack weight, which is the um, scale weight. And then the information of each package, so the tracking, the dimensions, but again, totally up to you with what you want to set up there. And then even for an LTL shipment, you can have a completely different note right back. So maybe you want to send back different information. All right. Um, so again, really kind of quick overview of uh, processing a shipment between Starship and Acumatica. Appreciate everyone for hanging in there and of course for taking the time to join today's webinar. Uh, and again, feel free to reach out to me, but appreciate everyone taking the time. Thanks so much and have a good one. Bye.